Part 4 The End of Everything Nice. Nice! Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's just like riding a bike. I play this game on my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm, I like go over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Alright, well... Oh, I'm playing as her now. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. Just wait! He'll be back! And we still have no idea who this is? Ah, uh, big guy! Dirty coat! Or several! They could swap out! I can't tell! Getting dark earlier. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And... Yeah? Maybe lasagna. <gasps> lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Ignit. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Oh, no more than anyone else. Okay. Um. So no word from her parents? Nope! Did you leave a message? Yep! This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Well, we were. I don't know. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. It was a stressful time. Senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. So I did get caught? I am so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. Okay. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, um. Wait, everybody shut up. Somebody's moving around. What? I heard it too. Seriously? What? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. She does not look okay. So did she get caught? I feel like I was far enough away. Unless I got like shotgunned to death. Well not, not to death, but you know what I mean. Well, I, I got like tranquilized or something. Wait, is this the neighborhood? Like, all the houses are gone. All that remains are the, like, the mailboxes and the power lines. What is going on here? 
Like, I knew there had to be, like, a code or something. She's gonna wake up in front of our house, isn't, isn't she? Wait, we're in the church. God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. Hmm. <gasps> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and she loved to hear about them. She. I am sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. Mary Morales always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns the lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods and... At night. Down the end of Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, at least, ways. What? What? Who are you, janitor? I feel like that guy's God. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's, it's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Meh. Am I? Was the person that's outside the door May? That was just a flashback. Now we're building back up to that moment. I wonder. I have to assume so because I'm making my way over there. Yep. Oh my god. Bea? Oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep on our bed! I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. 
So she just like wandered out of her house. Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shush. No. What? It's less nothing. Or noisy. It's less noisy. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what? Twice a week? At least. From out by the highway, now, now since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't please our lifestyle, Bia. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. Nice! Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, where I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. Bia is there? Bia is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bia drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Hope she doesn't die at the end of this. You want a brownie? Ah, uh, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Okay, just double check there's nothing to interact with. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this? I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. I'm assuming, assuming Bia's over here. Got like the hiccups or something. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place, at least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude! Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. 
Oh, right. See ya. Bye, Germ. Since I feel like Germ is like the inside man here. I feel like he has something to do with it. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? Like, it was just pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside in the tree out front. And I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving book of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. And it was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's... Huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was just so scared and angry. And just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. And beats! Wet shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Oh, is that why she has the journal? Huh. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes just like back, back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just being a I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of like the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal, and it was these shapes and he was pointing down at me and I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know, what you're going through. It exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this and, 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 shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared, but we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... <sighs> Bye guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. Is she going out to the woods? Yes, she is. Going to go confront whatever's out here.
What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? It's because you poked the arm. Talk! Fine, let's do this. Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit. You outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me! And we can all, all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, Bia! Ah! Ow! A wolf, huh? Unlike, uh, Gregory. You okay? What are... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... it... it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, all, all the family my dad has left, I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone, so you're not dying either. <coughs> that sounds okay by me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Um, no, I have to go alone. Anyway, yeah, anyway, if he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well, then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Haha. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there, just the party. Haha. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. I knew this mine had to be, like, important. There's a lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile, a mile away. We sure want, we want to do this? Yeah, me, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you can understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then, we'll come out of this together. Dead, everyone's dead. Ugh, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pa pamphlets at the shop and I get bored. This is in the brochure.
Well, here we are. <laughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. You should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. Heh <laughs> I wonder if Casey is down here. Or oh, was down here, I should say. Maybe is. I don't know. And my leg is falling asleep. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. I don't like this. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Is this like a, like a sacrificial type place? Where it's like they throw things down a hole? To like appease the gods or something. I have to assume it's something like that. There's always a ritual. No matter what game I play, there's always a ritual involved. I know you're in here. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Oh, you mean like five steps if you don't want to fall into the hole. There they are, they're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Why, you do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Did I say we're even? Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest. To protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers? Contributors. Or contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that I... He kidnapped that kid at Hearthfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Oh, I've... I felt it. it. Was Ed Scudder and Jem Doherty who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Best Schumacher. Last super supervisor was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one, not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born, too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. 
practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper, till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks through and in, right into that hole, never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim, Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice girl, in dreams and in waking times, it's what brought you down here. What, what is it? Black goat, not even black like the color, black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you, he sings. Kumbaya, kumbaya. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand, in those days it was like, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government don't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ah, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I, I... Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once he takes a shining to, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. They said Ed could walk through walls, okay? After Ed talked us all into it, into this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and, man, it, and money came too, but still a few of us left back from back then. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who believed you me, who believed you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's, someone, it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been, oh God, oh no. Casey, the Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long, before whatever s sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was up he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! And you wanna act like we didn't do him in this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down there the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright now, throw it down right now or I'll shoot. Heh <laughs> what if I get you first? Bullet sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous, th dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, I, throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. 
Old man was puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost we lost what our world was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids, kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a, t a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old, and even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Like, or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane! Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I will understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair, they get to leave and I probably get permanent damage. Shut it, Eid. Or Eid, I don't care. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Eid, I swear to God, let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Hehe. <laughs> I, I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here, fast! I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stop in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, uh, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember or, like, picture it. The things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. And it's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yup, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Uh-oh. Oh god. Um... Now that was a ghost right there because there was no way that like one of those guys came back up on the elevator because the elevator was already up. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? 
May, say something. <laughs> May? <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's okay, I got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. My voice is going. I feel we are coming in from somewhere, so we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you- I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus! Yeah? I love you. And, uh, welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm! Guys, the air is coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yup, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing! You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river! We're in a fight! We're in a mine! Can't speak. Right. So what was that about? What, what was that dude that tried to grab May? It's weird. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. Why are they, like, hanging back? Weird. Uh oh, sinkhole. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over, was over long before I got here. So long hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it, this won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again and I want to hurt. But that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. <laughs> you know I can't understand you, right? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You, you got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. It seems like she's fine now. Hmm. Wow. 
What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. <gasps> Bro, sure. Hello? We're down here! Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ah, that's, all, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, what? But I didn't see the things in the on the wall. I'm almost out of here. Music's building up. Don't tell me the game's just gonna end like abruptly. All right. That's cute. This place, huh? Hey, mate. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up at the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You, you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. You want to go get it? Can you go get it? Thank you, Germ. Hey, May? Yeah? What's that, Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods. <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I bought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Jerm, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jerm. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Bye, Germ. So he wasn't bad after all. Thank goodness. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives! Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator is broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense! I guess, but we did cause the deaths of, uh, like, a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Uh, what? They like kill people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell and I hope they all go straight there. Whoa, Angus, buddy. What the heck? You're supposed to be the nice one. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think at least. Hmm, this is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain if we keep walking. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. 
Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here, and I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this, and it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does, and I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born, and it's all like moving so fast and you dropped into it, and you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. So, sorry I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. Bia, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all of you gone, all you gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems, but if I could fix them, I'd fix all of it, and I'd buy the tools to do it from your store, or like borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got, and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all of that. Oh shit! Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. One more day. One more day. I have to be getting close because that feels very, like, climactic. Oh, there was a thing in the journal. I'll check it in a second. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork, lol. Band practice today because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snowkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Weather service, snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Hi. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to play Demon Tower. So I'm going to play Demon Tower right now. In the age of blood, a pale one will rise. Wielding naught but a simple blade. Who dares to climb the steps of... Ancient Doomspire, Demon Tower. Part 4, Slaughter of the Blood Thief. Level 1, the hole. Okay. I had to guess these disappear over time. Okay, I don't know how far I'm gonna go into this because I feel like this goes on for a while. Probably go like maybe like three levels if I can make it that far. There goes all my health, okay. Get. 
If I had to assume all that health disappeared, it wouldn't surprise me. Nope, it's all here. Okay. Okay, I saw a door back over here. Oh, okay. I didn't expect you to be there, but okay. That was easy. Now I'll probably go down three levels and end up there. No. I probably have to come back to you. get through there. Grab it please, thank you. Okay, hmm. yeah, apparently I can get tired. So that's good to know. It's gonna bother me if I don't break at least all the pots that I possibly can. Missed one. It blends in with all the bones and whatnot. Okay, that's all of them. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, there's a key. Or not a key, a, a door. But I need a key. Okay, I guess I have to kill you. Or maybe I didn't, I just killed up a, a random dude. Okay, but where is the key then? It has to be around here somewhere. Or over here. God dang it. I just killed that dude for no reason. That probably could have come in handy. Like I thought I had to kill him to uh, get the key, but apparently not. Oopsie doopsies. Okay, full health. No dude standing here this time around. Okay, this time it's an actual like boss. Ow.
I almost died. That would have sucked. I'll go one more level. Actually, you know what? No. No. Because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry and tired, so... Okay, that's it for that. That was fun. I have to assume there's just one more day of band practice. Epilogue. Stars. Can I talk with Mr. Chazikov? Find, like, one more thing of... Things? We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937, Shades from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement that marks the start of the weird gothic genre, an, un an influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes are sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Aww. May, honey, is that you? Yeah? I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been, I guess, I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom, we need to come up with some ground rules, just because... Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight, we can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. Ha ha ha, sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town, close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night de decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay, well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you too, Mom. Are you still reading the Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Sure. Far from here the ocean's roaring, far away across the din. I hear the Lord call the children, bringing it in, bringing it in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord are calling their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. <laughs> okay. I kind of feel bad now that, like, I said, like, oh, I'm gonna focus on the story beats, but it was the last day. Hey, Dad. No work today? I don't bother to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad, why? I've mined, I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. 
Paul's supposed to respect you. Work is supposed to be able to talk. Work is supposed to be able to have a life. Work is supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and, and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do, but we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines in the factory, at least for a while, but here... I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space? That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No, really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Well, it looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You should show that to the You should show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May! Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. Oh, I can keep talking with him. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. You gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? Roasty, you're a small fry. Dad. Dum dee dum dum dum. No, I didn't mean to do that. Stop. Hi. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. Uh, what's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Oh jeez, until now I never considered that. May. Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. Hey, May. Sup, Summers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. No, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Well, you don't have a poem for me today? One last poem for the road? That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. You don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important and the most thought out. What the? We're gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. Ugh. Alright, well now that that's settled, what are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. Ha ha ha. Move out, troops. Okay, bye. 
Good talk, guys. Snow coming. Gonna be bad time this year. Okay, cool. Anyone down in the in the tunnel? This guy's still down here. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin, it's a home of place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Poor dude. Oh, you're down here now. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Pasta Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens, bills stamped with a cop company name. Good at, good at the company store, but company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. The grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town, driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. Real bastard, that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk, or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. Ha ha ha, wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing, did they catch him? No, just me and a few other folks saw it. We trot over to him, and we run off down the alley, past the AOK -OK drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... So what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Hehehe. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Yeah, sometime, maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nice and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. Delicious pretzels. Are the teens down here? Probably not. Oh, they are. Okay. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Okay, nothing else down here. Okay, let's go uh, back over here and up. This has to be the last day, right? It feels very, like, climactic. Like, one big, like... I, I bet the band practice is the credits. If I had to assume anything, that would be the case. Go up to the church. I bet nothing's over here. Other than like a creepy cliffside. You look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Oh, well, Pastor Kate's out here. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this. Empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... 
You tried. All we can do, and God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the, in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... Ha ha ha. Run along, May. Why can't I do it now? I have time. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in the church, but I might as well just check it out, because why not? Getting such a crick in the neck. I need to finish this up soon. I don't think mom is in here today, because she said she wasn't going into work. I might as well just check in here just in case there might be like somebody like praying or something. Okay. It's weird. What was the deal with the janitor? He seemed to be like a guardian angel type thing. Or like type person. Yeah, mom's not in here. Can I go to sleep? Again? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Okay. I don't have time for this. I want to see if I can talk to uh, Mr. Chazikov one more time. Oh, I didn't even check it. That's the, uh, the hole at the center of everything, I think. Bombshell. Yeah, look at all the things that I missed. I was trying to be as thorough as I possibly could, but oh well. I don't... I bet there's an achievement where it's like, oh, get all the journal entries or something along those lines. It wouldn't surprise me. So I'm gonna get split part time. How do they not have the hours? That's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night where we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. Cool. So, none of that is scheduled. Oh yeah, pickaxe is closed. Hey, it's the janitor. Hey, it's you. Yup, yup. For now at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kind of? I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Hey, here comes the pregnant raccoon mom person. Again. Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and like have learned something, but I don't e I don't know if I learned anything really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something, and sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Wait in time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Haha, <laughs> wait a minute, how do you know my name? <laughs> yeah, exactly, wait, wait, how do you know my name? 
Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Well, fall show is ending. Sure looks that way. I've uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out, and I let a gust of wind pass over me. It cheers me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's c c cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. Then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. Oh, that sounds nice right now. The Endless Cycle of Life. It's cozy. The Endless, the endless Cozy Cycle of Life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. Canada doesn't exist. I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay? Numb arms. Good talk, like, gecko person, man, thing. Okay, nobody in here. Okay. I bet they're all at the snoutkin. Holy crap! Uh, ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since... Uh, they got rid of all the snakes in the diner. The owners were religious, and they called in a preacher from one of the hol holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set traps. Nobody know where they came from, or why they moved in. But they're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Um, I completely forgot um, to go check out Mr. Chazikov. I got sidetracked. He's over here. I hope he's I hope he's here today. If he's not, gosh darn it. Yep, he's up there. God dang it. Hey, Mae. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine the Fire Maker. The Fire Maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This story makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know, I don't have great words for it. It is okay, sometimes too many words. Yeah, thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. We wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them, but we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. Dark side. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. That's nice. I'm glad I was able to find all of them. So what now? Supermoon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. 
Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come, and I will make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Yeah, I'm glad I was like as thorough as I possibly could be with that because I was actually really interested in the stars. I should start doing my own laundry. Nah, sometime. Okay, now let's go. Why is this like pregnant raccoon mom like just wandering down the street up and down? It's weird. It's a good thing I remember to go over to Mr. Chazkov, because that would have sucked. Hey, it's you. So are you a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There was snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's Earth who doesn't love tacos. I, I don't like tacos. Um... Like, I had tacos, like, a long time ago, like, a decade ago, and I just didn't like it. I didn't like the taste of the meat or the shells or anything. It's like, I love nachos, I just don't like tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. Nice. Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Oh, I can still talk with you. Taco Buck, dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid, I'm working. Now a pizza taco, on the other hand, sounds delicious. Wait, where's this guy? This guy's not here. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you smell this fan? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go smelters. Go smelters. Go smelters. Cool. Okay, I'm not gonna go in the Snack Falcon just yet. I want to go over to the left here. See if, uh, if anything changed. I've been going for four and a half hours. Jesus. I thought it would have been done like an hour and a half ago, but apparently not. I don't know how I'm gonna split up these last few episodes. Okay, that's blocked. Well, you're not even gonna say anything, like a little bit of like cheeky dialogue. It's like, eh, no way I'm going back out there. Or like, I wonder what happened to those guys. I wonder if they're dead. It's like something, give me something game. Give me sustenance. I need to know the answers to everything. Well, look who is alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah, just seems like re relevant. Well, look who's live and well, you too. Yeah, yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yes, there's nothing else I need to check out. I don't think anyways. Ah, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? 
Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise, because Angus is an extremely nice person. I'm curious what she thinks about this. Do you, do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change, and meet new people, and become new people, I think Angus is going to find he's got more options. Jeez, you thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. They've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. The whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. Because I forgot my sweater. Wait, that's cold. Hmm. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was, and it's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night? Seems like two lifetimes ago. Heh <laughs> heh, yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Weird question. How do you like get up every day? And go open the store and keep doing it. I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all this running because you care, I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot, and I sometimes eat pizza. Same. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fix that furnace. I fix that furnace. Why well, fix us getting trapped in the basement? You sure did, May. You sure did. Ugh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion. Killing the new owners makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or, like, drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about... What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. Um, and you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi, or a museum of toy ro rocket ships, or a factory where they make pretzels, or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. Aww. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. 
God damn this door. I think God already has. There they are. Hey guys. Sup nerds. Psh, it's you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, we never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. <gasps> yeah. I just really wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah, thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably? What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? Cuckoo crazy. No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. Um, when I was down there last night, I like made the decision not to die, or at least not to die without a fight, and the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever. Wait, it was like talking to you? It's been talking to me for a long time. I just didn't know what it was. But anyway, like nothing is going to save us forever. But a lot of things can save us today. That's really pretty, May. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I totally made it up. Like right on the spot last night. I said it before. You're good with doom. Doom, 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 doom. I want you in my room. So anyway, song and pizza... We earned it by still being alive for another day. That's a decent reason. Decent! Decent. Decent. There we go. Wow. I still have a lot of questions that are not really that are probably going to go unanswered because I don't think there's ever going to be a sequel to this game or like any like follow-up but wow like what does it all mean I really do like this game um, because of the art style like, the story is a bit hit and miss, but the characters and the dialogue are all, like, really, like, witty and, like, fun. It's like, I just love this game. I didn't really get into Demon Tower, um, just because it's, like, I'm not really into that type of, like, game, like, genre of, like, the dungeon crawlers. Um, I'll play it just fine, but it's not really interesting to me. And I don't think there's really a payoff. So. Yeah. That's gonna do it for Night in the Woods. I do not know what I'm going to play next. Um. Like, I have to look in my library. But, yeah. Get through the credits and now sign off. And Eco the Cat. Aww. Sharkle. Bye, Sharkle.
Aww. Rip Casey. And apparently they did go on their road trip, it seems. <laughs>